Hi guys, today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the double crochet. First we cast on, and if you're not familiar with this, you can watch my video on how to cast on. And get the yarn on the hook. It's basically a slip knot. And then you Typically you'll chain some amount that your project will require. You do 10 to get started. And then you will go back through these loops. Typically one loop when you're working through your chain. And if you're doing the double crochet, you're going to go back to the third loop, skip the first one, skip the second one. You're going to go back to this third one to start. So you yarn over, go through the loop, yarn over again, pull it through, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. So you yarn over, next loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, next loop, Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Let's get to the end of the row. And then I will show you how to go back the other way if you're working on a flat project. If you're working in the round, it's going to be a little different. You would just go all the way around. But on the flat project, you'll be going back and forth. Okay, so once you're at the end, you turn, and you need to chain two, and this is like your double crochet at the end, so your sides will be even. And then I start out right here right below the chain two. Some people start over here. Um, I start over here. So I will typically count this as a double crochet. It just depends on your pattern. If it tells you to do it, if it tells you to count it as one, you count it as one. If it tells you not to, then you don't. When I make a pattern, I will count this as a double crochet. Yarn over. Go into two loops, and these are the two loops that you go into. They're like little V's on top. Those are always the ones that you go into. And then yarn over, pull through the two loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the two loops. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Into the two loops. And this is where I think it can start getting confusing until you practice a lot. Um, 
because you start getting confused about where your hook is supposed to go. So I really recommend practicing, um, you know, make a scarf or just practice. Um, you can make washcloth, something that you can then use, but you can always just sit down and practice um, and not necessarily be making something, but just get some some practice in. But it is nice to make something and then, um, you know, have a finished product project. And then we get to the end. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you would turn and you do two chain, chain two, one, two, and then you would go back this way into this spot. Through here, through these two loops, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And that's how you would go back and forth with double crochet.